let's implement the get part discount method. Call it public. Let's put override return void get part discount. Date time, current date equals date time dot now int product age equals we're going to call the base class dot get part age. dot creation date comma current date let's do our if statements have I mentioned our test data is going to need to to be modified to show this so if the product age is greater than a hundred and product age is less than or equal to 200 p dot price equals decimal dot multiply p dot price comma decimal we're going to give it a 10 percent discount Else, if product age is greater than 200 and product age is less than or equal to 300, p dot price equals decimal dot multiply p dot price we're going to give that one a an 80% a 20% discount else if product age is greater than 300 and Product age is less than or equal to 365, which is one year. P dot price equals decimal dot multiply. We're going to give it 30% discount. Else, if product age is greater than one year old p dot part ID we're going to use the, the replacement part and there'll be no discount because we'll expect that to be uh, the new part and p dot replacement part ID to show that we are using that now we'll put using replacement part. Let's go into our company DAC and, and let's call this function. So within the get company products, let's put obj dot get part discount and let's send it the current object. Let's go make a correction in our product class scroll down and let's re remove these read only because we need to to modify them so let's go take a quick look at our data just to remind us you see a hundred a hundred a thousand and a hundred so let's run it and you'll see this is ninety dollars this is 80. You see that this one has a 30% discount. And then this one, this one was 
greater than a year, so it's using the replacement part. In part three, we're going to implement polymorphism. And polymorphism is basically when the caller of the object is unaware of the specific object type. And so we're, we're going to create a get company size discount method that is going to accept a product class. But whenever we implement it, we're, we're actually going to be sending it uh, a different class. And therefore, we'll be implementing poly polymorphism. As well, we're going to get the selected company size and convert to int. We're going to create another class inherited from products. Create get company size discount, passing it the product class. We're going to add a second get company products method to the data access component with the one additional parameter. And we're going to modify the first and the second get company products to use polymorphism. So in part in part three, we're, we're going to be implementing polymorphism. And it's important to differentiate between overriding and overloading. Overloading is just basically you have the same method name, but uh, you have different per parameters that you're passing to that method. And that's how it differentiates uh, which method to call. Whereas overriding, you have the same name, and the same per parameter list. And so as I mentioned at the beginning, we are going to be implementing over overriding and it's it's basically it's demonstrated by the caller of the object doesn't know uh, the what this specific object type is. So let's go open our form and in our grid view clicked one event. Let's capture the, the company size. Oops. Data grid view. Dot rows. Open bracket E dot row index dot cells. It is in column three dot value dot two string. And let's convert it to an integer int size equals convert dot to int sixteen company size. So let's go create a company product list class. Let's open up our product class. And public class company product list. We're going to in inherit it from product list. So let's start by adding a private integer m company size and let's go and cut and paste from the product list class and paste it into the company product list and we'll rename our constructor to be the name of the same name as the class both of them then we'll add one more per parameter to the company product list constructor, the integer, and we'll call it company size. And then here we'll go m company size equals company size. And in the get part discount of this class, uh, we're gonna we're basically gonna be checking if the if the size of the company is greater than a certain amount, then, then they are going to get a bigger discount. And so they would have a 10%, but now they're going to get a 15%. Here a 20%, but now they're going to get a 25%. Here a 30%, but now they're going to get a 35% discount.